Hello. In this session we're going to have a look at how doors and windows affect the relationship they have with the layers in the walls. And in particular, in respect to how those layers actually wrap at the inserts. Now you've probably already seen and had experience with when modifying a wall type, the wrapping in inserts parameter that you see here. By default, most people will typically leave this as do not wrap. But there are other options here, such as maybe if we select the exterior, in which you can see that the inserts, those being the doors and the windows, actually affect those layers as they come up to those inserts. And you can see that the outside layer in this case is starting to wrap around at the jam on the door and the windows. Now, just coincidentally, the wrap that it's uh, putting on there is actually going to halfway or the center line of the wall object. And you can see here that it's sitting 125 mil from either face, the interior and exterior face. Now there's also a probably lesser known feature for wrapping. Uh, and what I'm gonna do first is just simply remove this exterior wrapping off the, uh, off the wall type. Okay, so we'll just default that back to what it was before. The lesser known option to affect that same wrapping is actually found inside the types for the doors and the windows. And you can see here for the door type that we have a wall closure parameter that currently is set to by host. If we change that to something like interior or exterior in this case, and hit OK, we get the same result, but now at a type level. So you can see on the right hand side, the window is not doing the same. Now, what we're going to have a look at is what is actually driving that, that wrap and how far that wrap actually goes around on the jams. Now, I've got a door already opened up here. And maybe what you've not seen in the past is that when you select a reference plane, that we actually have a wall closure parameter, in particular for the one for the center line of the wall there, that's currently unticked. Now you could actually tick that on and start moving that reference plane, but it's probably best if you go ahead and put a brand new reference plane in that we can now uh, get a little bit of extra, extra control over. So with this new reference plane that I've just drawn in, if I select it and now toggle on the wall closure parameter from the properties, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tie a dimension in and I'm gonna set this to something like 140 mil and just padlocking it in, like so. All right, so this reference plane is now always going to be 140 mil from the exterior face of the wall. So let's go ahead and load this back in and override the existing parameter. And you can see here that the wrap has actually increased a little bit because we've now got that constraint, if I just do a dimension from here to here, that is now 140 mil. So what that means is that rather than putting these constraints in as, uh, as a fixed value, we can actually turn this into a parameter now. So let's go ahead and add a parameter in and we might call this um, host offset. Um, I might very well make it an instance parameter. All right, let's now load this back into the project and overwrite. All right, it's still going to retain that 140 mil that I previously had, but you can see now that I have a host offset instance parameter over in the properties that I can now use to go ahead and change it and override how much I want that wrap to actually wrap around at the jam. 180 mil in. Okay. It also means that uh, we can also put in two reference planes as well. So because these overrides here have exterior, interior, and both, okay, if I hit OK in this case, you can see here that the inside layer is now wrapping up to that same reference plane. If I actually go back to the door family, and let's see, if I go ahead and set this to something like maybe 100 and maybe 135, if I go ahead and maybe just copy this reference plane down and I might put another dimension across here. Let's make this something like 20 mil and we'll padlock this in. So we've now got a second reference plane that's sitting 20 mil from that previous wall closure reference plane. And for the second one that I've just 
placed, let's also make sure that the wall closure parameter is ticked on, which it is. Okay, and now let's load this in. And you can see now, because we've got two reference planes inside that door family, that we've now got two layers, both the exterior and the interior, which are now touching the first reference plane that they meet that has that uh, wall closure parameter ticked on. So there you have it. You can use a brand new reference plane inside your door family in order to affect the wraps on the inserts for the walls.